the earth comes magma, liquid fire, molten rock, destructive and unstoppable. Or is it? In Volcano, Los Angeles is threatened by a massive lava flow. It's a natural disaster. It's a, a big shark. It's a dragon. It's a big, bad volcano. It's so uncontrollable. You know, we don't create it, and I think we're fascinated by the things we don't create. We want to control a power greater than ourselves. There's so many branches of disaster and trouble that it, now they can come from it. It's the perfect natural disaster for a movie. It's coming after you, you know, it's unstoppable. It's that hot, burning, molten lava. You better get out of its way. This lava starts to spread throughout the city and, to complicate matters, gets into the subway tunnels and starts spreading gradually under the surface of the city. It's going to come up somewhere. My character works for the Office of the Emergency Management. Rourke's from uh, somewhere in Missouri, where he's been used to uh, trying to manage the Mississippi River. There's no experience in volcanoes. The tunnel's insulating it. It's like a lava chute. Go down through the tunnel. Don't hit the block when it hit the block. It's gonna punch through. Oh, I mean, it erupts. Yes! They do their jobs very well. One of them is a scientist, that's my character, so she has a more of a scientific background and actually has done research on this, whereas Rourke's mind works to make the city work under a disaster. So, as the two of them come together with their absolutely equal passions, they gel together, one having the information that the other one needs to solve the problem. There's many people in front of it in the We're gonna take this thing to the ocean. I first got the script and I looked at it and I thought, this is great, this is a wonderful ride. I can see this vividly in my head. The only problem is getting what's in my head actually onto a piece of film. You know, the logistical problem is just enormous and, and dealing with that amount of fire, that number of extras, that amount of destruction, buildings uh, ablaze, whatever. I would say 60% of this movie is creative. And so it was, how do we make a geyser? How do we make a big ash cloud? How do we build a mountain? How do we make lava? Those were the hardest problems that we had to figure out. This was just a movie that was of such a huge magnitude. I don't think there have been many movies that have ever been made that took this kind of logistic coordination. Whether it's the amount of extras, whether it's the amount of special effects, the fire, the wind, the ash, everything's bigger than life. Everything is enormous. Parts of L.A. were built as models and then destroyed. A huge soundstage housed a replica of the L.A. subway system, and it too was demolished. To smash an entire city block, producers needed a very large space. We needed to find a giant open space, preferably paved, that we could build this huge set that's 1,700 feet long. There were very few open spaces that weren't being used for something else that we could actually build a set on. So ultimately, we decided to go up a helicopter. We actually found this from a helicopter scout, this giant open space. We came here, we laid it out, and we matched Rosa Walmart. Court rates are on 17 and a half acres. It's a quarter mile long. It's the largest set in the world at this point. The uh, major buildings are the Craft and Folk Art Museum, the uh, Los Angeles County Museum of Art, Peterson Auto Museum, the uh, May Company, uh, Johnny's, which is a famous Googie-style coffee shop, and uh, we also have the La Brea Tar Pits. Recreating this volcano requires uh, a lot of pyrotechnics, uh, a lot of bombs. Uh, all these buildings have been built to burn over and over again. We have a lot of uh, paper ash on the ground. We uh, are producing uh, an awful lot of spectacular effects. Nobody had ever had as big a fire permit as this in the city of Los Angeles for removal, ever. This is the, the biggest by far set ever burned. We're going through some 20,000 gallons of propane, hundreds of pounds of black powder, uh, just uh, all kinds of uh, explosive devices on the street. It's a real it's a ride. You know, it's, uh, it's intense, and uh, the monster's coming, and our heroes have to get away from the monster and somehow learn to be 